Good morning and welcome back to your booty building series. Today we're going to be focusing on thinner inner thighs. So we're going to light up those thigh muscles, light up those glute muscles, come out of here feeling strong and powerful. So bring that energy with you. Let's get started right away. So the first exercise we're going to do today is a plie squat. Now you're going to come out, take a nice wide stance on your mat, point those feet away from you. Now as you come down, that butt's going to stay below the chest, keeping that 90 degree angle on the knees and bringing it back up. We're going to take this nice and slow for 40 seconds, starting in three, two, one. Okay, so coming down, pressing into those heels, and on your way back up, like I said, we want to activate those thigh muscles. So you're actually going to squeeze, concentrate all of that energy on the inner thighs, taking it really slow so that we can activate the muscles, get them fired up, ready for the exercises, so that through the next nine exercises that we're going to do today, we're really going to feel it there and get the most out of every exercise. So keep those shoulders down, give me a smile, chest is lifted, abs squeezed in, and let's take it for three, and two, and one more, come down a little bit lower, bring it on up and walk those feet into the center of the mat. Now from here, we're gonna put all of our weight, so shift all that weight onto your right heel. Let's tap that left foot out. Now take it and turn it away from you so that inner thigh is facing me right now. Now we're gonna lift up over to the side and bring it back down again for 40 seconds, starting in three, two, one. So shift that weight inside that heel, put a slight bend in that right knee, and try to lift yourself up nice and high. So you want a straight line here. We don't want to be leaning over. And if you are struggling with balance at all, you can hold on to a wall. You can have your hands out towards the side. You can keep them on your hips right here. Whatever feels comfortable for you, just relax that foot here and use that inner thigh muscle to lift that leg up and back down. Very good. So you're almost done here. We're going to take it to the other side and then come to the ground for our serious thigh burners. Okay, guys. Give me three and two and one more, a little bit higher and release it down. Okay, we're going to switch to the other side. So shake those tail feathers out, move your body a little bit to get that energy up and we're going to take it on that right side. So shift that weight into the left leg. Put a slight bend in that knee, tuck those hips underneath, and in three, two, one, turn that foot out away from you and lift that leg. Great job. So if you are struggling with balance at all, so what you can do here is you want to squeeze those abs in really, really, really tight. It's going to help you with your stability. And then, of course, you're probably going to have one side that's a little more dominant than the other. So if one side's a little bit wobbly and you feel like, all right, I feel a little more unstable on this side, totally normal. And all you have to do is work a little bit harder on that side. It's no problem because over time, given the consistency, showing up, continuing with your exercises, it will get easier. So keep on going for five, four, three, two, and last one, make it your best one, release that down. So we're gonna come all the way to the ground now and take it into some V legs in and out. So rest your back down on the mat, tuck those hips underneath, release those hands at your sides and bring both those legs up into the air. Now from here, I want you to point those toes and make those legs nice and long and we're gonna take it out towards the side as far as your hips allow and back in towards the center. Let's get started. So coming out towards the sides, Try to bring it low and then bring it back in using those thigh muscles to squeeze those legs back up. So you're also going to be working a little bit of your core here, which I mean, I've never complained about working core because it's great for the rest of your exercises. So just keep on going. Try to get those legs out a little bit longer. Straighten them out. Yes, there you go. Now you're going to feel it. Now if you want to get it a little bit more, a little more of a burn here, let's take those feet put a flex in them, turn them outward, and bring it out, and bring it up. Okay, I know, things are starting to burn, they're starting to fire up, and that's exactly what we want. So take it out one more time, bring it in, we're gonna hold it right here, and let's point those feet again, and this time we're gonna take it out, and then cross one leg over, take it out, cross the other leg over. So some scissor V legs in three, two, one. Okay, come out towards the side, Bring it back in and over, good job. Now to make this a little bit more challenging, to work things a little bit harder, because we're only doing 10 minutes here, right? Let's try to bring those legs down a little bit lower, squeezing those abs in, making sure that back is flat against the mat, and try to take them down low. Now if your back starts to lift at all, just bring those legs back up into the air, and great job, everybody. Let's keep on going for five, four, three, 
two, one, towards the center, put a bend in those knees and release them to the ground. Okay, so this time we're gonna take our heels and we're gonna bring them together and keep those feet together. Now you're going to press through the outside of your feet, lifting that butt up off the ground, pressing those hips up towards the ceiling, and we're just gonna take it in some knee pulses in and out. So let's get started in three, two, one. Come up into that bridge pose, release those shoulders on the mat, and take those knees going in and out. Tiny little pulses, you can do this. Now for your hands, I wanna make this a little more challenging. So you're gonna bring those hands and bring them below your butt. Just clasp those together while you squeeze in and out. We are only doing this one time. And then after this, we've got four more exercises to go and we are done. So you're past the halfway point here. So squeeze those glutes to work that booty and also squeeze those thighs. Yes, there we go, feel that burn. Okay, you've got another 10 seconds here. So nine, eight, seven, Six, keep going, four, three, two, one, and release that booty down towards the mat, and this time we are gonna come over to our sides. So for this exercise, it's gonna take you a second to adjust, so get that hand right below the shoulder, and you're gonna pop up with your top leg bent. Now that, uh, that leg below is gonna come out in front of you, and you're gonna relax that foot, you're gonna hold yourself up here, and we're gonna lift that leg up, and down, oh yes, we're doing this. So get yourself in position, you got a couple seconds here. And in three, two, one, okay, lift that leg up and bring it back down. Now right here, I want you to try to keep your hips above each other. So you wanna have a nice straight line from your hand to your shoulder, all the way up to the sky, and to make this harder, let's lift that arm up into the air. And if you want an even harder challenge, try to look straight at the tops of your fingertips. This is gonna test your balance, while you work both of the inner thighs because you're holding yourself up on the one and lifting that other one. Okay, I know this is a killer. You've got 10 seconds more to go. You can make it through. Keep holding yourself up for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, bring it on down. We're gonna take it over to that other side. So again, hand right below the shoulder. Put a bend in that top leg. Now that other leg comes out, shoots in front of you, and you're just gonna lift it up and down. Let's get into position. I'll give you a few seconds. In three, two, one, we're gonna get started. So press into that balancing heel and lift that leg up. You're gonna feel this in both thighs. Now, just like before, let's take that right arm, bring it up towards the sky, and if you want, just stare straight ahead of it. Now, this is gonna work. A few things here. We're getting like a total body tone with this exercise, actually. So you've got the upper body being worked, you've got the core being worked, both of those inner thighs, the glute as you hold yourself up. Oh yeah, and then two more exercises after this, and we are complete. Keep powering through. Okay guys, 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, don't hold down yet. Three, two, last leg lift and release down. Okay, we're gonna come up to standing and take it into some lunge slide leg lifts. So again, working those inner thighs as well as that glute, I want you to take your left leg, come into a side lunge, and you are going to lift that right leg up and bring it back up. Okay, in three, two, one, you got all that? <laughs> Drop those shoulders, come into that side lunge, press that booty back, shift the weight into that side, lift that leg, and come back up to standing. 40 seconds. You, you might not get a lot of reps in here, but the goal is to really put tension on those muscles. So the more that we concentrate all that energy into those thighs, and the more you just try to get through it, the better things are gonna be down the road. It's gonna change your results later on. So into that side lunge, give me that leg lift, bring it back up. Let's take it two more times. To the left, and lift, back towards the center. And last time, to the left, lift that leg, and to the center. Okay, we're gonna go over to the right side. Last exercise of the routine, just get through it, do your best. If you're struggling with balance, that's okay. You gotta wobble to not wobble later. So let's get started on that right. In three, two, one. You did the other side, let's do this side. Take that lunge, shift that weight, lift that leg as best you can. Now everyone's flexibility is gonna be different here. Your hips may not allow for this. If it's too much, just take that leg lift out but press into that heel and lift that leg using the inner thigh to lift it up. And we're also getting a nice little calorie, calorie burn here, right? Okay, lift up and let's take it three more times. Three, 
Bring it back up. And two. Bring it back up. And last one. Over to that side. Shift that weight. Lift that leg nice and high. Come back towards the center. And give yourself a clap for making it through those exercises. Now, I don't know which one was harder. Was it the high plank with the bad knee or was it this one just now? You let me know in the comments. Get ready for day 10. We're going to be using resistance bands and dumbbells. And I'm also going to, I'm also going to be announcing the next series, the next program, the next surprise, and things you don't want to miss. So don't forget to subscribe. Stick with me for the next few videos. And I will see you 